you say you're old school, I can imagine, and I remember being a wee nipper back then, what was it, 95 I think it was, when the, the announcement came that Gerard was joining Liverpool Football Club as a co-manager. That was foreign to me at the time. There was no one at the top level that had co-managers. I mean, what must have you boys been thinking when the announcement comes that Roy's now got someone else alongside of him? Well, I mean, it was just a surreal experience. Uh, and it, it was difficult for the players because you know, we're old school and whenever there was a problem, we didn't really know who to go and see. So you can imagine <laughs> all the older players, we're, we're, we're going to see Roy Evans because he's, he's our manager. So yeah, so, yeah, so for a club like Liverpool to be doing that, you know, I, I think it's I mean, I think it's quite scary and it, it is quite surreal. I'm not sure whether you'd, you'd get that at Manchester United, so Alex would never have accepted it. Um, so maybe Liverpool should have done that. You just said to uh, Roy Evans, "Look, this is what's happening. Uh, you either, you know, take a backward step, or you know, Jared comes in as uh, the sole manager." And I think that's probably what should have happened. Uh, and just to give you obviously a quick story, and we uh, we used to go to Norway every single year. And uh, after the game in Norway, we'd uh, we'd have a few drinks in uh, in in a nightclub. Uh, it's a nightclub called Smoogies. I think it's no longer there. We've checked, Chris. We've checked. We've been back in check. It's not there. So after this game, we'd all go there. So all the players would finish the game, and it's obviously a pre-season game. Straight back to the hotel. We're changed, uh, and we're out. But this particular year, Gerard Hula and Roy Evans, joint managers, uh, and we're thinking, oh, we're out. We're out. We're anyway, after the game, we win the game pre-one. Gets on the bus. Gets back, uh, gets back on the oh, sorry, sits down on the bus. Gerard Uli is away doing press. Uh, so Roy Evans is uh, doing press. Sorry, Gerard Uli gets on the bus and joint managers gets on the microphone. He says, "Listen, lads," he said, "we'll fly fly home tomorrow." He said it in a slightly better French accent, obviously, Chris. But he went, "Listen, lads," he said, "we've got a flight in the morning. Uh, everyone at home, a little bit of food uh, and straight to bed for for an early rise, and we're leaving for the airport." So we're all thinking, "Not a chance. We're all going out here. You know, we're, we're going back and we're going over the wall." So anyway, Roy Evans gets on the bus, uh, bus goes back to the hotel, bus parks up, Roy Evans shoots off, gets into the hotel. Gerard Uli gets on the mic, he said, listen lads, he said, I, I'm genuinely serious, uh, hotel, some food. He said, uh, straight to bed, he said, flight early tomorrow. He said, if any of you think of sneaking out, he said, you just won't play for this football club ever again. So we're thinking, oh, we'll have to really sneak out here, you know what I mean? There's, there's me and about 12 other lads at the back, we think we're really sneaking out. So anyway, Gerard Uli goes into his uh, into his room, goes upstairs. So we're all upstairs, gets our jeans on, gets our shirt on, gets in the lift. Me and probably about 12 other players gets in the Name, lift. Goes, naming names, Rob, who else was culpable that uh, night? It, 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 I mean, it would it have been Mac, uh, Razor, Dominic <laughs> Matteo, you know, all, all, the, uh, all, the, all the clan. It was all the clan, Chris. So anyway, we, we, we get in this uh, we get in this lift and goes downstairs. We're just about to sneak out of the back door. Uh, and uh, Gerard Uli's waiting there. He said, I tell you, he said, if any of you step out of this hotel, he said, you will never play for this football club again. And just as he said that, there was a ping and the lift doors opened. <laughs> and Roy, Roy Evans popped out and went, Come on, boys, let's hit the town. <laughs> and we went, We're with him. <laughs> so you can imagine that was, that was what we were dealing with as players. And, and as much as it, there's like a, a funny element to the story, uh, when you've got sort of one manager whose belief is, that's probably wrong that but one manager's look you know this is uh, this is what you've got to do and the other manager will look let's go and uh, go on what we need to do to in terms of professionalism then uh, you know it, it was hard it was hard for us to take but eventually the, uh, the the I mean the club seen only one way and obviously Gerard became uh, you know the sole manager and I mean what he did then was just I think quite quite astonishing wasn't it 